What's this? Surprise! Ah, Charlie. Oh, that scared me. I told you monkeys come from eggs. Tanana Kids TV. Hi everybody, and welcome to episode four of Tanana Kids TV. Charlie, you really scared me there before. Oh yeah, you're really easy to scare. No, I'm not. Boo! Oh. Yeah, okay, I'm pretty easy to scare. Anyway, how was your Easter? Oh, it was exciting. It was excellent. Actually, you could say it was extraordinary. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. I'll have to apologize. He's very, very happy that he got given lots of eggs for Easter. Uh, he's, he's very happy about it. Yes, I did get lots of eggs. You could say that it exceeded my expectations. Oh, Charlie. Now, we've got to make the show here, buddy. And uh, we can't have you making millions of egg jokes the whole time. Oh, Dave, you always exaggerate. Don't worry, I am an expert at making these things. It will be the most exceptional show you've ever seen. Okay, Charlie, well, we don't want any more of those egg things. You got it all out of your system now? Ah, uh, yes. All right, I don't know if I trust you, but anyway, we need to get on to the word of the day. All right, can I do it? I've always wanted to say the word of the day. Oh, sure. Off you go. Okay, the word of the day is brave. Oh, well done. And it means to be the opposite of Dave. What? No, that's not what it means. Hey, anyway, we'll find out what it means after the Todayly Show with Captain Dave Dave Lee. Oh, that sounds exhilarating. Charlie, you said you were going to stop doing those things. Oh, time for me to exit. Bye, Charlie. Welcome to the Todayly Show, and here's your host, Captain Dave Dave Lee. All right, everybody, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Alright, welcome today to the Daily Show. I'm your host, Captain Dave Davely, and our special guest today is James Henderson. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> Alright, James, thanks for coming in today. It's a real uh, honour to have you here today. Now, today, James is going to talk to us a bit about being brave uh, in his job, but also he might give us a few tips on uh, how to do some cool pranks to our friends using electricity. That's fun. Oh, no, no it's can't. electricity. Oh, right. Yeah, it's dangerous. Oh, okay. All right, so maybe I won't ask that question then. Uh, I forgot about the whole safety thing. Uh, all right, well, we'll go to a different question then. Uh, I'd imagine in your job, you have to be brave sometimes uh, in some of the things you have to do. Could you tell us a little bit about some of those things you have to do? Yeah, sure. Well, one of the, probably one of the, the obvious things is I have to climb power poles. Yeah. So well. that's, you know, climbing right up top there with the yep. live electricity and yeah, yeah, you know, wow. all that sort of thing. Yeah, it's, crazy. So how do you climb them? Do you have like some special shoes or something to climb up them or ropes or something? How do you get up Yeah, there? so we use ladders mostly. Okay. Um, so yep. use ladders, big tall ladders, climb up there or sometimes in the in the big bucket truck, you know. Okay, up, cool. Up you go, like, yep. yeah. It's, That's fun. You know. It's very fun, but I'm just thinking now, like some of that stuff would be worth a lot of money. Um, were you nervous the first time you were using really expensive equipment? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So like some of that stuff, yeah, it's really expensive and you don't want to yeah. break it. So you, yep. you've got to be really careful and, yep. and yeah, sometimes some of it's pretty big and yep. heavy and so it's can be yeah, a yep. bit scary, but it's not just the, not just the, the, the job. Sometimes like it, dealing with the people too, like yep. it, that can it, be can be, it can be hard. Like sometimes yeah. we've got to tell people like bad news, like, you know, power's yeah. not going to be on for couple of days even sometimes, yeah. you know, when, when big storms happen or, yeah. or you know, sometimes yeah, well, the weather can be really scary too when we're trying to work. And, yeah, because yeah. you get called out to emergency sometimes, how hey, you're on call. Yeah, emergency. yeah, that's right. Yeah, wow, that would be, yeah, the weather can be a bit treacherous and sometimes people as well. So there's <laughs> a lot of things in your job, wow. Um, also, your job's taking you all over the place. And our story today actually is about Joshua and God says to him that he can be brave because God will be with him wherever he goes. 
Um, tell us a little bit about what your experience has been going to all sorts of places in your job and has God been with you in those times? Yeah, so, so when, you, when you leave your home, when, you, when you, you've got to go and work away for a while, go into a different town or, yep. or anything like that, like, you've got to be a little bit brave, I guess, and, and yep. it's, it's really hard. And the, the thing that's got me through is, is yeah, the, I know that God's with me. So when yep. I'm lonely, when I'm away from my, my kids, when I'm away yep. from, from my family, you know, I know that, that God's with me. And yep. so it helps me to be brave and helps me to, to sort of just step out and, and do the things I've got to do because yep. I know God's with me. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. So also in your personal journey, we've heard a bit about your job, um, that uh, you've got to be brave in your job. Um, what about your personal journey in your own life? Is there circumstances where you've had to be brave just in your life? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, even like I haven't always done this job. I've, I've, I used to actually run a business yep. and um, I stopped doing that business and, and then became an apprentice. Yeah, so I was wow. like gone from, from up here yeah. to, to down here. So, yeah. you know, that was, it was, it was a brave decision that, that, that I had to move from, from one to the other. And, yeah. and that was one that I really had to trust God in too. Yeah. Um, knowing that that was the right thing to do. Yeah. Having to uh, move on. Cause I've, I've got to protect my family. I've got to provide for my family. And, yeah. Yeah. You know, all that sort of thing. So yeah, I needed awesome. to make sure yeah. that it was right and, and then step out and be brave yeah. knowing that God was, God had me. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's some big decisions. And, um, I'm, I'm glad that you had God with you and that you were able to make that brave decision it's it's nice now in retrospect because it's worked out for you yeah that's right but that's um good. i'm sure at the time it would have been a a big decision well james thanks for coming in today but uh, i just want to ask one one thing particularly uh uh how about those pranks mate could you tell us a little bit about you know have you ever got someone and said ah touch this it's got electricity in it or something like electricity. that electricity we, we, we discussed this yeah but but it could be fun though like you know it, it wasn't going to hurt them too much you could you could do some just, sort of just prank, kill, couldn't just, just sort of kill them a little bit, you mean? Oh, you know, like, oh okay, yeah. Is, I guess, that, is that, I that what we're talking about? Safe. But what about, have you ever, like, peed on, like, a line or something or done something no, really look, funny? Look, we, or... we, we talked about this. Look, I'm, oh, I'm, okay. I'm getting a call. Oh, I've got to okay. go and help someone out. Oh, oh okay. Safe, oh, sorry. Oh, I gotta go. All right, I, gotta I guess go. so. Uh, well, there we have it, folks. Uh, thanks, James. And uh, that was an electrifying conversation. And uh, there we have it. Um, that's how you be brave. All right, brave is an interesting word because some people get it a little bit mixed up. Some people think that to be brave you shouldn't be scared at all, but it's quite the opposite to that. When you're feeling nervous, when you're feeling scared, yet you still do it, you still have a go at that thing, that's what it means to be brave. For example, maybe on the first day of school you were feeling a little bit nervous, uh, but you still went. That meant that you were brave. Maybe when you were learning to ride your push bike, there came a time when you had to take the training wheels off and had a go at it. Well, you might have been feeling a bit nervous and a bit scared about doing that, but you still did it, and that means that you were brave. So that's what it means to be brave, even when you're scared or nervous, still having a go, still doing it. Wow, Dave, they were great examples. Charlie. Oh, you're so good at explaining things, Charlie. Just stop it, okay? Ugh. Story time with Dave and Charlie. Alright, Charlie, today's story is about a guy who has to face a big scary situation and God helps him be brave. So, let's check out our story for today. Hey, don't I get to say anything? Nope. A long time ago. How come all these stories are all from a long time ago? How come they can't be just from like yesterday? Well, our stories are from the Bible. It was written a long time ago. Okay, you may continue. A long time ago, in a land far, far away. How come they aren't about Australia or the Philippines? Or somewhere close like New Zealand? Well, we are all God's people now. But back then, God's people lived in Israel, which is a long way away. Okay. Can I do the story now? You have my permission. Alright. A long time ago, in a land far, far away, there lived a man named Joshua. Now, he had just been picked as the new leader of Israel. Wow, that's scary! It would have been a big responsibility, and I'm sure Joshua was a bit nervous. 
But God said to him, Be strong and brave. Don't be scared because I will be with you wherever you go. Jesus said the same thing to us when he said, I will be with you always. Hang on. God can't be everywhere we go. So if I went to another country in a plane, would God still be there? Hello. Yep. What about if I went deep under the ocean in a submarine? Would God still be there? Hello. Yep. What if I went out into space in a rocket ship? Would God still be there? Hello. Yep. How? Well, God has this superpower where he can be everywhere all the time. Wow, that's pretty cool. So anyway, God promised Joshua, as he promises us, that he would be with him wherever he went. Then what happened is that Joshua was hanging out at his tent. Did Joshua like camping? Well, I don't know, but... Israel didn't have their own lands yet, so they didn't have any houses. All right. Then a man appeared, and Joshua bowed down before him because he knew it was an angel. Wow, do angels like camping? No, the angel had a message. Was it a message about marshmallows? Because I love marshmallows when I go camping. Maybe he could cook them with that big stick in his hand. Mm. No, it was a message from God. And that thing in his hand is a sword. Anyway, God said, I'm going to give you this land. Oh, well, that was easy. Well, actually, there was a big problem. This land was full of big armies, (coughs) big giants, (coughs) and big walls. (coughs) Wow, that's a lot of big stuff. I know. And the first city they got to was called Jericho. And it had a huge wall around it. Oh no, they were never going to get the land. They'll have to live in tents forever. No! It's okay, the angel had a plan from God. (gasps) Oh goody, I know, I bet they had a wolf that was going to huff and puff and blow down those walls. No, it's not the three pigs story. Oh, I know then. They had a huge cannon. No. A huge wrecking ball! No, 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 no. A huge bulldozer! No, they didn't have... A huge... Don't you say it! What? I know what you're gonna say, Charlie. No, you don't! This is a serious question. Okay. A huge whoopee cushion! I knew that's what you're gonna say. No, it was none of those things. Actually, the angel said that God wanted them to walk around the city for seven days. And on the seventh day, they needed to walk around the city seven times. And then shout and blow their trumpets, and the walls would just fall down. What sort of plan is that? That won't work, and they're going to look so silly. Seems like a silly idea, but remember, God told Joshua to be brave. And to be brave, you can't worry about what other people think. So what did they do then? Well, they were brave, and they trusted God and did what he asked them to do. For six days, they just marched around the city. And on the seventh day, they marched around seven times. And when they had done all this, on Joshua's signal, they all shouted. Well, no, they didn't look silly because the walls came crumbling down just like God said they would. And they beat the enemy and got their land. Far out! Well, Joshua kept being brave and everywhere he went, God was with him. And he beat all the enemies that he came up against and got the land and houses God had promised them. It's still there now, in fact. It's a country called Israel. Well, there we have it, Charlie. We can be brave, just like Joshua, because we know that God will be with us wherever we go. All right. So, speaking of going, I've got to go to the toilet right now.
Will God be with me there? What, in a toilet? Yeah! Well, yes, that's everywhere, so yes, God will be with you in the toilet. Now, Charlie, we've talked about you don't need to tell me every time you need to go to the toilet. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, I'm going to the toilet. I just thought I'd let you know. Dear Dave, dear Dave, da 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 da, dear Dave, yeah. Alright, welcome to Dare Dave, where you dare me to do things, and I give them a go, I guess. Alright, the first one today is from, let's have a look, it is from Sally Salison, and she has asked me today to lift some heavy weights. Alright, well, during the week, I went and did this. Let's check it out. Alright, this next one is from uh, Jim Jim Lee, and they've asked me to do a backflip. Alright, well, let's check that out. I made a video during the week. All right, let's have a look at the next tear. Uh, it's from a Will Williamson, and they have asked me today if I can do the splits. Oh dear, I don't know about this one. I'm not very flexible. Anyway, let's check out the movie that I made this week and see how it went. Ah! Ah! Well, that's all we have time for this week on Dare Dave. Uh, if you'd like to send in a dare to me, then just uh, send it to the messenger group and just say, I dare Dave too, and I'll give it a shot during the week and see what we come up with. Oh, hang on, I'm just getting a message. Oh, it's from Charlie. It says, meet me outside now. Oh dear, this doesn't sound very good. Um, all right, I, think I, I might give this one a, a, a miss. Oh, I'm getting another message. Oh, it's from Charlie again. It says, if you don't meet me outside now, you're a chicken. All right. I better go then. Today is about being brave. Hey, Charlie, what'd you get me out here for? I'm gonna do a dare day. Well, what do you want me to do then? I want you to jump off that shed. Hang on, you want me to jump off the shed? It's a bit big. You'll be right. Today's about being brave, remember? Well, I guess today's about being brave. I guess I should give it a go. I don't know, Charlie. I'm a bit scared, buddy. Come on, Dave, you'll be right. But it's really high. I don't know if I can do it. You'll be fine. Just remember to bend your knees. All right, all right. The things I do for this show. All right. Ah, well, at least you were brave. Activity time. Thank you for sending me all your pictures of the activities you've been doing during the week. This one's simple this week. Just to remember that God is with you wherever you go. I want you to draw the three top places that you would like to go. So I've done it here. I've put Egypt, so I've put some pyramids, I'd love to go to Egypt. Then this one is the Disneyland castle, because I would love to go to Disneyland and take my kids. But this one is my top toppers, it's the shed, and that's where we have Kids Club. Because I can't wait to get back to Kids Club and see you all, I'm missing you all. So that's my top place I'd like to go. This week I'll be dropping this off on Tuesday in your letterbox, so draw the three top places you'd like to go and send me a picture on Messenger. Thanks guys for everything. 
Oh, thanks, Dave. I've always wanted to learn how to drive, and I never have been able to because my arms and legs don't work. That's okay, Charlie. Let's get started. Let's go. All right, here we go. <laughs> Concentrate on what you're doing. I was born to drive. Charlie, stop talking and just drive. Ah! 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 <sighs> Thanks, Dave. That was super fun. Do you think we can start the car now? Charlie, that's never happening. Well, Charlie, that was a lot of fun. I'm glad you got to be brave and do something you've always wanted to do. Oh, yeah, it was exhilarating. Oh, yes, it was a lot of fun. It would have been funner if you let me use the egg accelerator. Well, yes, it would have been funner, I guess, but it also would have been super dangerous. Exactly. What? Oh, anyway. Um, well, I guess that... Hang on. I've done my thing. Is there anything you have ever wanted to do and you didn't do because you weren't brave enough? Well, hmm. I guess there is one thing. Welcome to the Explosive Extreme Extravaganza Quiz! Okay, here we go. Question one. What is the word of the day? Charlie, can we just get through this quiz without you making an egg joke? Okay. Alright, here we go. The answer is brave. Alright, let's look at question two. After all the walking, what two things did the Israelites do to make the walls fall? Oh, I remember it was noisy. By the way, that dancing you did before, that was weird. All right, they yelled and blew their trumpets is the answer. They're the two things they did. All right, who tried to jump off the roof and went splat? Oh, Charlie. You showed lots of compassion then, didn't you, when I fell off the roof? Ah, you'll be right. Dave is the opposite to a cat. He never lands on his feet. It looked egg excruciating. Oh, Charlie. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this week. We've had a whole lot of fun. I uh, just want to thank everybody for watching each week and sending in all your great things. I uh, also want to just wish you luck for all the kids that are um, doing school from home. I know that's going to be a little bit different. We're thinking and praying for you and hoping that you have a, a great week this week and we'll see you next Friday. Oh, you know what? There is one good thing about doing school from home. What's that, Charlie? You don't have to do any exams. Oh, Charlie, seriously. Oh, another thing, make sure you do PE because you want to do your exercise. Oh, Charlie, jeez. Dave, you look exhausted. See you next week, guys. Bye! Tanana Kids. TV! Charlie, that egg really stinks. Did you go to the toilet in there? Well, I've been waiting in here a long time! <laughs>